on. We're on. decided I'm going to film today and the reason I've decided I'm going to well there's a few reason, reasons I've decided I'm going to film today but one of the reasons is because this year I know I've said it in the past I know I've said it in the past a few times but this year oh my god lord help this hair I've, see I've come on a hot mess because this wasn't planned but this year I've decided that I really want to be more intentional with my YouTube channel because yeah I know it's not a huge channel but I really enjoy doing it I love filming I don't know why I don't do it more I really don't know why I don't do it more I think I don't let me know if any of you are the same in this way I can love doing something love it with every part of me but as soon as it feels like i have to do it or it's expected of me it's something in my brain goes no you're not doing that can you still see the christmas lights that's one of those things i know i need to take them down and my brain's saying no you, you're not doing that you don't you don't need to do that wait till I'll tell you what let's wait till november next year this year we'll do that in november anyway so I really want to be more intentional with my channel. I want to film more. I don't really know what I want to film. I know that I want to carry on with my business startup series because I just feel like that could help so many people. It's a, it's quite a lonely thing to do when you feel like you're doing everything wrong. <laughs> mm. So today I decided to film because all the kids have gone back to school. Lani went back yesterday. Ez and Bo went back today, which Lani was fuming about, but such is life. And I've got the house to myself. For the first time in over two weeks, I've got the house to myself. And Lord, it feels great. It feels great. It's quiet. There's no one saying mom. There's no one saying key. It's great. And it's, this sounds so bad because I, I do feel inspired when I'm with my family, but I just don't have the energy to do the things that I feel inspired to do but today I've got it and I know I've got it because it started with guys it's the clothes it might be the clothes that have been building up for the past a month oh this cough um it might be the stuff that's been building up for the past month I've been busy, you girls been busy, I've been buying Christmas presents, I've been here, there and everywhere, I've had, I've had family come in to stay, friends come in to stay, I just about have time to put the washing away when nobody's here, when people are here and when I've got stuff to do, I'm sorry the washing goes to the bottom of the pile, excuse the pun, it goes to the bottom of the pile because in my eyes washing is not, having clean stuff is a priority but putting it away that can wait we're tackling that this morning and then after that i've got my mother-in-law coming over i probably won't vlog that just because it's already awkward as it is vlogging and yeah January is meant to be no illness. I'm vlogging more. I'm not going to say how many days a week because I don't know. I'm drinking more water. I'm eating better. And I'm just going to do these things. And I'm not going to say it's going to be all year because my brain's going to do that thing where it says no. But what I will say is that I'm going to take it week by week. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself because even though I really want to do those things, as soon as I put pressure on myself, my brain says no. I'm just being more intentional and vlogging is one of those things that I really want to do more of. I'm going to continue with the story that I finished a, a year ago. Um, 
embarrassing. Uh, so I'm going to continue that, the, the business series, also the vlogs, the family vlogs. I guess the reason I turned the camera on is because I hate, I hate cleaning. I love things to be clean and tidy, but I hate cleaning. No, I don't hate cleaning. I hate putting things away. I don't like putting things away because they don't stay away. They're out again within a few hours. So I feel like, why are you touching stuff that I've put away but I can't make other people live like that because this is a working house and it needs to work. But working makes me uneasy. It makes things messy. It makes things not tidy. But then I don't want to live in a showroom. Guys, yeah. I'm going to clean. So I've started folding the clothes. If you can see a double chin, mind your business. It was Christmas. That wasn't there before Christmas, but it is very much a part of me now. It is being evicted. Again, another thing I'm being intentional about is my eating. Your girl's eaten. I've eaten. And now I'm an eaten mess. So, I'm putting it in piles. Matt hates when I do this because basically what I do is put things in piles and then the piles go back on the floor in neat piles and then what happens is I think oh that looks neat it probably doesn't need to go anywhere I'll do it tomorrow the week goes on and I take clothes out I take clothes out the girls need socks oh it's probably in the pile in the bedroom search through the pile a bit messier girls need pajamas I'll search through that oh where are those nice knickers that I've got that I never wear oh I remember washing those they're probably in the pile in the bedroom search through that a bit messier and then it's just a pile on the floor um I've put it into piles that are not not going to go on the floor because key and that's repeating old behaviors and we don't want to do that this year we want new behavior we want new patterns of behavior because the house will be a happier place and you'll have a happier soul a happier partner happier children it's not going to happen okay so that's the pile of stuff there's also this <laughs> this is the other thing that i do this is full of clean clothes this was clean clothes that were in neat piles downstairs and what might have happened is a family member was coming over and I didn't have time to put it away. So I just put it, I put it neatly in a bin liner. And what you will see is that everything's still folded in there. Um, so I did do it neatly, but it's in a bin liner that's been in the corner of our room for probably about five weeks. But this is a no judgment zone, so that's okay. So that needs to be sorted into these piles and that needs to be put away as well. I'm actually scared now because I've, I've said I imagined this video with a time lapse of me cleaning and that means I've actually got to do it now and I don't want to. Let me just look in the bag and see what I'm dealing with because if it's too much for up here, you know, I, I might just defer it a little bit. Just, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? This is folded stuff that I was just about to put on the floor. No, it's coming back because these need to go to Amazon. I bought Lani some pyjamas for Christmas and they're too small, even though they're in age 12 to 13. This is really, this isn't the best content, is it? But, I need people, if I want to succeed in life, I need to be held accountable. Like, what was so hard about doing that? What was hard about doing that? Straight in the cupboard. Now, when I need a khaki jacket, I know where one is. I don't have to look through bin liners. I've clean. Look, it's all folded. Clean stuff. I've been looking for these. Esme's little flared jeans. Guys, this is like an unboxing, but it's an unbagging. I was looking for this the other day. One of their little workout tops. Not to work out, but. So whose pile is whose? This is six to eight. That's Esme's. No, it's not. That's Bo's now. Top. I don't know why. I don't know why I got that out because that doesn't fit anyone right now. Probably Bo. Been looking for my green jeans. Why do I do this? Why do I do this? 
new pile. Do you know what? I've got so many nice clothes. Like, these are like leather, leather look. Phone's ringing, use that. Nick. Hello. Hello, I'm okay, how are you? do but we're just it's constant like every single day we're even if you're sat in your house doing nothing you're thinking to yourself I should be doing this I should be doing something that's stress because that's like another small internal battle that that you don't need to feel because actually we can have days where we just sit and do nothing but we're just so programmed to work off stress and guilt it just it's so hard brother lauren about changing your mindset and she said that people feel almost disheartened when it doesn't work straight away and she said that it's a process so every time you think about why you don't deserve something or why you're never going to have something or what mistakes you've made that would mean that you have to pay forever more she says just stop and in the moment say what if this weren't true what could be truer the things that we give so much power to actually have no power at all. She was like, money doesn't have eyes. Money doesn't have, uh, you know, the ability to think. Money just does what we tell it to do and that's it. She, and it's the same as you said with our subconscious. It doesn't have eyes. It doesn't have power because we are our subconscious. We are the eyes and the power and the rest of it. She said the past doesn't exist anymore. So whatever's happened in your past that you think means that you can't have nice things or a dream life or live in excess, in abundance. She was like, how can something that no longer exists determine what happens in your future? Slight technical issue. Um, so, laundry, there's a lot, there is a lot. Well, yeah, there's a lot. And this here is new, a new pile of clean laundry that I found downstairs. Um, but we're going to tackle that at a later date. Maybe today, but just a bit later in the day because I haven't got time for that right now. There's not really much happening in this video. I just wanted to come back on, show my face again, say... What I want to, what I'm planning for the new year in terms of, you know, what you can expect from my YouTube, and just a little catch up, I guess. It's been a long time since I last was on here, and I don't want to leave it that long again. Last year was a a bit wild, I think, for all of us, and um, it didn't really allow for much time for the things that I wanted to do. Um, but this year is not going to be like that. This year is going to be different. What has happened? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, this year is going to be different. Um, so yeah, just a quick video to show you my boat race and say hello and say happy new year. 
I hope everybody had an amazing Christmas. I hope everybody's looking forward to 2023 despite anything that might have happened in 2022. It's a new year, new beginnings, fresh start and let's start as we mean to go on. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm not at all Italian. Let's start as we mean to go on. Um, I keep saying um. The kids tell me all the time that I say um a lot and it's true, I do. Uh, I just did it again. It's a nervous thing, I think. So yeah. <sighs> Kian, that was so awkward. Very, very awkward. You've really got to get used to this. Do I tell them like what I'm wearing and does anyone care? Does anyone care? I'm gonna tell people what I'm wearing. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's embarrassing. Is it embarrassing? No, I'm not gonna do that. Have some self-respect because nobody's watching your videos like that, Kian. Not yet anyway. However, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm wearing, but what I am gonna do is tell you about this new product that I've got. So I got hit with psoriasis quite badly last year well i say quite badly it wasn't that bad in comparison to things that other people suffer with when it comes to psoriasis but it sort of started as a little patch i've had it since i was a kid but never as bad as it's been in the last couple of years but i think it's all stress related um so it started as just a little patch on the back of my neck and it kind of just spread this year it didn't go down my back but sorry last year but the year before that it went right down my back as well which I was really like upset about um because I couldn't wear anything like open back or and but so this year it's like just on the back of my neck it went round here and it went round the back there and up the side and then I had a really noticeable patch down here and it's still kind of there. I mean, it is disappearing now. But what happened was because it takes some of the layers of your skin off, it left like a lighter patch and it didn't help that I went on holiday and got really tanned. And so, you know, the skin that was here was like notably darker than the skin where I'd had the psoriasis. So I was trying to find a foundation or something that I could put on my skin because I don't wear makeup every day like today I've got some eyebrows on which are coming off some blusher a bit on my lips and then this as my base but nothing else usually if I'm doing a full phase of makeup I'll have concealer foundation contour blusher eyeliner eyebrows eyelashes lip liner lipstick like I do the full shebang so I've literally got like four or five products on my face I think and this guys I, I'm gonna be that YouTube person that does that who do I think I am so this do I even need to do that no I definitely didn't need to do that it's called glowish and it's from I don't know whether her name's Huda or Huda Beauty but it's from her brand and my god this stuff is amazing it's so good so the reason i found out about it is because lani used to get um a glossy box which is like a subscription thing that comes every month and it has little miniature versions of products so obviously you try the products and if you like them you go on to buy them in one of the last ones that she got this was in there but it was in just like a little tiny packet i don't know if i've got any in here is that it yeah so it came in a little tiny packet this is the dark one that's obviously too dark for me yes i need to do that thing there we go guys so it came in packets like that oh dirty nail i just used it on a whim because i'd run out of foundation and i was going out and i needed has the camera moved it has yeah and i needed something to put on my skin so lani was like oh mom i've got this like skin tint she said i've never used it but why don't you try it so i was like no i'm not gonna bother with that because i don't usually how do i explain it i don't trust things that i haven't used before and obviously with having psoriasis i didn't want anything to aggravate it anymore because my skin can just flare up 
So I said, I'll, I'll just buy some foundation. So I went to get some foundation and they didn't have the color that I used. So I was like, shit, so I'm not just gonna buy any foundation. So I came back, I was like, Lan, can I use the, the tint? Put it on, just whacked it in my hand, rubbed it on my face and I was like, okay and when i went out people were saying how good my skin looked people don't usually comment on my skin so i was like okay that that's no coincidence that i've used that and people because it, it gives you like a dewy effect but not dewy that you look oily it's just nicely dewy and your skin just looks fresh like you've got it's like you've got a glow from within like you've been drinking your water so i bought it i bought it and i, I never think these like subscription subscription things work but in this case it actually worked well I, I say i bought it matt bought it for me because i think it's like 36 pounds he got it from boots in bath we were just there on a day out and i saw it and it's so good so good so if you're someone that wears foundation but there are some days where you don't want to wear foundation you just want to look natural but still have like a some coverage because the coverage is quite good with it as well even though it's a tint it's not full coverage like foundation but it is good coverage which is the whole reason i wanted to use it in the first place because yeah so if you want to use a tint that has good coverage and makes your skin look amazing honestly glow wish by huda or huda huda beauty however you say it is well worth the investment well worth it and i will always have this now alongside my foundation that i wear which is usually nars or matte so if i'm doing like a foot like i'll always put this on no matter like if i'm if i'm going somewhere i won't just put it on for being in the house in the day but if i'm going somewhere i'll put this on but if i'm going like out out or i'm going for a meal with matt on the odd occasion or you know just something where i want to feel a bit more done up I will still put this on but I'll put a squirt of this on my finger then I'll put a squirt of my foundation mix it in and then I'll put that on my face because this this the glow that this gives you is so good and it just elevates your foundation that you would normally wear so guys glowish by Huda Beauty really recommend that anyway I'm not going to hold you any longer because I've bored you with cleaning I don't know what this vlog was going to be about but i just wanted to be intentional and put something out there just to get the ball rolling and uh drink your water yeah i'm glad i've done it because i feel like it's started now i think that's the hardest step sometimes is just doing something for the first time but once you've done it it's easy to keep doing it again and again so yeah Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe if you want to. Obviously, there's no pressure, but it'd be really nice if you did. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to tell you. I bought a mount for the car so you can come on car journeys with us because honestly, our car journeys are very eventful. <laughs> and sometimes things happen and I say to myself, I wish I had a camera mount in the car because it's comedy gold in the car it's brilliant so yeah you'll be coming on journeys with us you will be seeing what we do with our everyday and of course i have the more serious side of the channel which is you know the startup business series so yeah over and out thank you for watching and i'll see you next time oh you can still see <laughs>